What's up everybody, Todd here. Today we're going to install the Revolver X4S from Back Industries on this 2022 Ford Maverick. For this installation, I'll be using a 916 socket and a ratchet. Now make sure you're subscribed to our channel to keep up to date with our latest content. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, now this truck has seen a few different covers already and we already have a bulkhead seal, so we're not going to install one for this installation. However, if we did not have a bulkhead seal, we would want to wipe down the painted surface of the bulkhead with some rubbing alcohol, then apply the bulkhead seal all the way from one bed cap to the other as far back on the bulkhead as possible to keep it away from the cab. Okay, so we're gonna show you how to install the passenger side rail. The driver side rail installs exactly the same way. So here's our passenger side rail. We've got the top of the rail here. Here we've got a shelf that kind of drops down, faces towards the inside of the bed. Uh, up here we've got an aluminum tab with a couple of elongated holes that goes up towards the front of the bed. And up here we've got a little foam pad that's gonna go all the way up against the bulkhead. So what we're gonna do is set our rail up on top of our uh, bed cap and then slide it towards the bulkhead until it hits the bulkhead. Now we can go ahead and attach our clamps. All right, now just behind the bulkhead, we're gonna come back right about where the edge of the aluminum tab is on the top of the rail, and we're going to attach our first clamp right here. What we're gonna do is spread that apart, put it all the way up into uh, the, uh, the rail, make sure that the grooves on the clamp uh, match the grooves on the rail. We're gonna hold that together and first tighten it down by hand. Then we're gonna take a 9 16 wrench or ratchet and start to snug it up a little bit and then pop it from the top. That helps to seat the rail at the top and we can finish tightening that down. Just don't over tighten it. All right, next to that, we're going to install our strap clamp. So we're gonna loosen that up and just set that right next to it. Again, tighten it down with a 9 16 Okay, now we're gonna go right about to the center of the bed and attach our second clamp. It installs exactly the same as our first clamp. Make sure the grooves are made it into the grooves on the rail. And tighten it by hand first. Snug it just a little bit with the wrench and then pop it from the top to seat the rail and move to the next clamp. All right, we're gonna follow the rail all the way to the very end. We're gonna put the last clamp right here. That installs just like the first two. Make sure it's all the way up uh, and engaged into the rail. Tighten it first by hand and then get it slightly snug with a 9 16 Seat at the top and then tighten it down the rest of the way. Okay, now when we set the cover into the rails, it's gonna come from the factory reverse rolled. So we're gonna start from the tailgate end and start rolling it forward. Uh, make sure as you lay it into the rails, these plastic tabs wanna lay right down on top of the shelf on the inside of the rails. So what we're gonna do is start rolling out the cover and then roll the cover up behind it. All right, then once we get up to the cab area, you're gonna notice on the header rail, we've got two channels that are going side to side. What we're gonna do is take a couple of the bolts from our hardware pack and slide them into the channels. They're gonna be two in this channel and two in this channel, one on this side, one on this side. All right, from our hardware pack, we're gonna get the bolts, slide them into the channels. We're gonna slide the other two on the other side. Make sure the bolts are lined up to the oblong holes in the header bar and then rotate it down and do that on both sides. Okay, so here's where the two bolts come down through our aluminum tab. Now in our kit, what we're gonna have is a rubber washer, a flat washer, and a star knob. We're gonna put those on in that order. Uh, but we're not going to snug them up just yet. We're just gonna get them attached so that we can adjust the cover. We're gonna do that on both sides, passenger and driver side. Now to adjust the cover, what we're gonna do is roll it back to the tailgate. 
sure it's centered on both sides. Then we're going to close the cover or close the tailgate up to the cover. Now that we've got it aligned, we're going to very gently roll it back towards the cab of the truck and then get underneath and tighten down those knobs. Just be very careful not to take the cover out of alignment. All right, let's tighten it up. Okay, now that we've got the cover aligned exactly where we want it, we can go ahead and tighten down the star knobs. So we're just gonna turn them and get them nice and snug. Do not over tighten them. Repeat the same process on the opposite side. All right, I first wanna point out that if the cover is nice and tightly rolled up, it won't contact the cap. However, if it is a little bit loose, then it can roll forward and contact the cab. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on the points that could co possibly contact the cab. We're gonna wipe down these areas here and apply rubber bumpers. Make sure to prep these areas with some isopropyl alcohol. There we go. Well, that concludes the installation. If you found this video helpful, make sure and give us a thumbs up. If you want to know more about the product, check the link in the description below. And as always, if you have any questions, call the experts or visit us online at realtruck.com.